should you focus more on the proposal side or should you focus more on the contribution side hmm so that's a pretty interesting question and this is something that every organization has a different approach for uh if i talk about some of the mainstream organizations like uh, let me just talk about let's say mozilla uh mozilla is not participating this time though uh but if i talk about like some bigger organizations like numfocus cncf they focus a lot upon your contributions and this is for a good reason so let me explain a scenario like you are an org admin and you just like got 10 proposals for your project how exactly are you going to judge like who is the best person for this job let us say we just like vet out those three proposals that were very lazily written people like literally just copy paste this stuff and they just sent it <laughs> to you you throw them out but still you have like seven proposals you have no means to like interview them google doesn't allow us to interview folks hmm. we cannot interview folks uh for most of them we might not have even worked with them so how exactly are we going to make sure that this particular person is going to stick with us for the next three months and how exactly are we going to make sure that this person is dedicating this much amount of time so this is something where most of the organizations like uh, want to play safe they don't want to like bet on a person whom they don't know much about hmm. uh, especially for big organizations that take multiple students like almost 7 to 8 or maybe even 12 to 14 students so in that case doing prior contributions is the one big thing so if you have like at least like a few prs merged few quality contributions merged that can mm-hmm. at least show the maintainer that you have the capability to pull this off and you might not not just leave out uh, after getting selected this has happened like a few times uh, a few of my friends got selected uh, they were like in party mood for the community bonding phase after that no contributions nothing and the first evaluation came everyone was failed so you really need to show like you have the commitment for it you need to be dedicated for it and all of that now coming to some other organizations like my own organization metacall uh, where i'm a mentor uh, and some other organizations like cc extractor like these particular organizations focus upon assessments as well they like they are pretty sure that their code bases are fairly complex uh, and students might not be able to work on them like uh, in just a period of like 4 to 5 weeks So in this case they will just hand out over like some sort of an assessment like maybe a programming assignment or maybe like writing a code sample that can help them judge that uh, this person is really fit for the job. So again like I have slightly different views about that but this is also like a potent way of like testing students out and checking if they have the right skills. In other organizations it is purely proposal based. Uh if you have go- if you have contribution well and good but the main uh like selection will actually come from the proposal itself so you you really need to like write a very good proposal like highlight all the technical details and also what kind of profile do you have like in python software foundation you really need to make one single pr to be qualified uh and then you will be judged on the basis of your proposal so these are the some of the things that you can basically take a look at uh the best way of doing like best way of judging like uh what organization is selecting on what basis is to just go and check out on their ideas list most of them have might have mentioned it clearly whether they require prior contributions mm-hmm. or not or whether they are judging purely on the basis of proposal and all of that in the other organization where i am administering like mojo at mojo global we basically have some first steps so everyone who needs to be qualified for this they have to follow these first steps before they can be actually considered for the project so just like make sure that you are in sync with what the org is looking for and then it would be just a piece of cake for you if you are like really matching the project requirements 